I'm talking of the naturally occurring word compounds that are found in the rocks. And when these rocks break down, we get a soil. So, of course, the minerals will still be in the soil. It doesn't mean that when, after the, uh, the rock has broken down, then the minerals are also gone. No. When the rocks break down, then we have the soil. The minerals are still in the soil. So, by way of explaining the mineral matter, we are referring to the naturally occurring chemical elements or compounds, okay, that possess a crystalline structure. Of course, when we studied rocks, when we talk about the crystalline structure, I believe you understand it now. And our constituent of what? Of rocks. So that one is clear. So when we talk of mineral matter here, this is what we mean. Now, the next component of soil is what? Organic matter. Organic matter. This refers to all the dead. <laughs> Don't be scared, though. Falling, decomposed. In other words, rotten or partly decomposed plants and animal matter which are in the soil. So, the organic matter we are referring to organisms that can no more sustain in life. In other words, they are what? They are gone. They are dead. When a tree is being cut down and it falls down with time, this tree what? will begin to what? Get rotten. It will start rotting up. In the same way, when a human being also dies, this human being begins rotting up. Okay? And so what they add to the soil, okay? Well, I said that it refers to all the dead, falling decomposed or say rotten or partly decomposed plants and animals matter, which are in the soil. 